Hey guys, welcome back for more Timberborn. We are going to build Beaver Castle. Now there is actually a place called Beaver Castle. It's spelled Belvoir, but it's pronounced Beaver. Uh, that's for real. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to build that. It's going to be crazy and huge and ridiculous and insane, and it's probably going to blow my mind. Right, you can see over here, the dynamite. <laughs> Should we start this episode with a bang? And go! <laughs> you gotta love that. I can't get enough of that. I'm gonna be doing quite a lot of dynamiting in this episode. We're gonna, the next thing I'm gonna do is like do the whole of this lake. But before that, there's a little bit of prep work. Before we can get on with that and doing the doing the castle and stuff, there's a, a few things that I need to do. We have 3,300 science now, which is awesome. So I can actually get a few things going. We're gonna get um, storage. We're going to unlock the underground warehouse. It, that alone costs a thousand science. And I'm gonna put it in over here, I think. It's nice and central. They'll be able to get the crops in there, all the all the planks and gears and dynamite and all the rest of it. Um, so I think that's a good, good spot for it. Uh, up here, I'm gonna get rid of these water barrels. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the water barrels. Um, am I? Yeah, yeah, I am going to get rid of the water barrels. <laughs> I'm so indecisive because I've got so many ideas flying around in my head for what I'm going to do. We're going to put in some extra carrots, I think, because we're still, we're still a bit low on carrots compared with potatoes. So, uh, what do I want? Or oh, crops? We want... I, I could do with some more sunflowers as well, thinking about it. I tell you what, let's put, let's put a few more sunflowers in down there, and then we'll put some, some carrots in coming up uh probably to there actually that'll be yeah that'll be fine what else do i want to do now now that we've got that storage in as soon as that gets built i'll rip all of these out other than that it's um oh you, no there is there is another thing there is another thing we've got injured beavers now when your beaver gets injured it's not a good situation and you need to do something stop it <laughs> You need to do, you need to do something about it straight away. So we're going to do something about it. We're going to put in medical beds. Where's medical? Here we go. Medical bed, a spot where where sick beavers come to rest. Yes, when they've been overworked. If you've been overworking your beaver, you need to give it a rest sometimes. So stop it. <laughs> we're going to put in. We're going to put it in some medical beds. I think I'm kind of tempted to put them down. To, this is probably going to change. For now, I think we'll just throw some in up here. One, two, three, four. There we go. We'll get uh, we'll get that done. So there we go. We can heal our beavers. What uh, what else do I want to do? Oh yeah. Um, in the comments, Takumi, who is a frequent commenter, was saying, "Why did you put these little windmills in? Why didn't you put the big windmills in?" This is why I didn't put the big windmills in. They cost fourteen hundred science to unlock. So now I can do that, and I'm going to start replacing these uh, one by one. But not just yet, because the whole beaver castle thing, uh, you'll see, is going gonna, is gonna to change everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to stock up some dynamite, and then we'll, um, we'll do the next bit of blowing up. Okay, picture, you've got to take a look at this, because this is like the cutest thing ever. So we have 12 injured beavers right now. Look... This one, Aww. he's got, he's got a little bandage on his head. Aww. And this one, this one here, he's obviously got an injured leg, because he's got, he's got a little bandage on his head. And this <laughs> one's got an injured tail. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That is so cute. And look at this, look at this. If we come up to the, so these are the, these are the tents. I've actually added uh, another three, because we've, we've got like twelve injured beavers. I need to get them uh, all healed up. And look. Aww. They just rest out here. They shade them from the sun, but they, they rest out in the open. They're and, so cute. And, and they've all got, like, he's got a bandaged paw up here. This is a his back paw. <laughs> the, I'm, I'm astounded. That is, the attention to detail on this is brilliant. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Uh, while I'm doing this, well, you can go back to doing whatever you want. I do that. I just sort of... <laughs> We needed your oh <laughs> for the for the cuteness. Um, over here, I'm going to put in some uh, some more housing because we could do some more beavers. 
we are let's see we're at we're at 54 but we're still short of eight beavers so let's get some more going what uh what do i want to do housing that's what i want i think i want the mirror yes i want the mirror lodge so i want the door on this side then i'm going to grab this and throw it in there with the door on this side and then i'm going to put another one on top but spin it round so it's the entrance is coming at the back there perfect that works a six 12 that adds another 15 beavers i hope we can cope with that i would think so we we're really getting on with the uh, with the dynamiting uh we're going to take this whole thing down another level uh because of that i've put in a couple of triple floodgates in front of where we had the dams i took out these levees that were down here and we're going to dynamite this whole thing awesome uh any is there anything else i've done i don't think so right let's uh let's let them carry on well we've got we've got the next lot of dynamite ready but we're still having a problem with injured beavers look at this we're up to 13 injured beavers is it handling the dynamite are they having accidents with the dynamite they're losing fingers and paws uh, who knows who knows i've put in what we got like 10 beds now and we're still not keeping up with this so we've got to go the whole hog and have a healer let's go to well-being where's the healer here it is he uses dandelions and water and wood to make medicine which uh, is then dispensed via the medical beds so let's unlock that what's that that's 300 science we'll flip this around we'll pop that in yeah there that's fine while i think about it i'm going to get rid of these uh, these water barrels get rid of those i'll put a path in along the front like that I i'm going to upgrade them to these things now the, the the little ones store 30 water these ones store 300 which is way better uh it's only 120 science we'll flip that around and i think just like boom 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 oh that actually works that works really nicely actually i i like all right and then boom 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 so they can get to them okay cool uh now this guy's gonna need uh dandelions to make the medicine we don't have any of those uh, dandelions so oh yes good thank you just in time so uh, we'll put in, I'm going to put in a load now because I'm going to get a bit of a stock. They take about six days to uh, grow to maturity, to, to like to actually get medicine from them or dandelions. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put in a stock and then I'll, I'll cut it down because you, you once you get your injured beavers under control, you don't really need that many and it just clogs up your storage. And, um, yeah, so I was saying they're weird. So they're planted by foresters. So I'm going to up the priority on this forester. So we're always getting these planted. And then... So they're like trees, but they're gathered by gatherers. I'm going to get rip out a lumberjack. We don't need five up here. We don't, I don't think we even need four, but it's fine. Um, what was I putting in? Oh, yeah, yeah. So under food, a gatherer flag. It's weird. Weird thing. Okay, let's throw that in. Right, so hopefully that should start take, to, to take care of that. Um, I've emptied all of these. How's our storage looking? We are at yeah, two and a half thousand to four thousand, so we've got loads of room. Well, loads. We've got a decent amount of room. Uh, let's rip out these because that's just going to be so much fun. So, uh, I guess from there, rip all of those out. Yes, please. And all of those out. Yes, please. Oh, and look at all the space that we've got back. Okay, cool. Let's blow some stuff up, shall we? Uh, we're on uh, we're on nice and fast so let's zoom right in <laughs> man that's satisfying uh and then you know i'm gonna, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and we'll follow this lot oh let's actually see the water let's see what the water does oh yes and the water drops down a level boom Ah, but, uh, yes, I thought this might happen. The water level, because it's now down a, t a whole tile, uh, doesn't extend in as far. So uh, so this is, uh, this is now dried up. So now, I can either keep it two levels deep all the time, but I don't think that's like a really a solution, or I can put in um, irrigation, an irrigation ditch, which is what I'm going to do. So... How am I going to do this? I'm going to... This road? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go on. Uh, we'll rip that road out. We'll grab some dynamite. 
and we will take this down two levels and then i'll just put in um i, I put in some of these um double platforms and then just put a road over the top i think this place just looks perfect to have a castle on it so how am i going to do this now there's going to be lots and lots of tinkering around with this but i want to give you at least the the general idea so let me grab uh, let me grab some levies and we'll kind of we'll, we'll see what i can do so i'm thinking um i want to come out to uh from uh yeah i want to come out to which would be there and then i want to come out to on the other side okay i want these towers to be six wide and i have a reason for that which i will explain in a minute um all right so coming out two from there and two from there so this would come in one two three four five six oh yeah oh that actually works that actually works surprisingly okay so this thing would come out like this one two three four five six yes uh let's let's just fill this in so you you, you actually get the, an impression of what this is gonna look like so man the beavers <laughs> the poor beavers are gonna be like what you want us to build what yeah sorry beavers you're gonna have a lot of work to do and yeah we want to come up another few rows now the um the this wall here that's gonna have to come up another one anyway because i want to be able to store the full t uh, three tiles of water at the moment we can only store store two and a half tiles so i need to take this up one more and i probably want this this tower to come up probably so the wall's going to be at that height so one two three four maybe five higher yeah i would think i would think something like that and wow i mean it takes time just to fill it all in let alone, let alone the poor beavers building it and is that yeah yeah that's probably probably a touch high i might i might take it down one we'll see now i want to take advantage of doing this to maybe expand this slightly um, but i do want to make the shape interesting i don't want it to be totally rectangular but i'm thinking um, i don't know we'll see we'll see if i was to come out two from here and then one two three four four uh, six no that that actually would be the wrong place it would be there within well, one two three four five six so hmm now i could extend this out a little bit couldn't i potentially so i could actually have walls coming out here like this which i've got to say yeah it's, it's probably not the worst idea if i had the, that wall coming out here then extend i guess this wall from here so i want that that would be one two three four five so i'd actually want the tower coming out extending that way two and then coming across to there and one two three four five six so it would be it would be like that wow uh this is <laughs> this is a very very big project okay i think that is pretty much exactly what i'm going for in in terms of uh, looks and whatever yeah that's great okay the way i'm going to build this let me pause before the beavers start getting carried away um what i'm going to do i'm going to take the these towers down to the level of the wall and i'm going to get rid of where are we uh demolished buildings and resources buildings i want to get rid of this road um probably uh, you know what i'm going to get rid of the whole thing at that level yeah get rid of all of that same with cut the top off there and 
cut the top off the, uh, and the road. Yes, please. Perfect. Okay. Well, why are you doing that, Sky? Uh, because uh, I want to raise this up by one level. So what am I doing? Uh, I want levees. So this whole thing is going to go up one level. That gives us a nice extra amount of water. Um, now, if I if I do this up to that, yeah, that's a good point. If I do this up to that level, then I can actually, there's no need to build up on these and I can just rip them out. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I'm going to have another tower on this corner, I think, but I haven't really figured out exactly where it's going to go yet. I guess, I guess we'll find out in due course. Uh, so that's going to be across there, that into there, and that to there. Is that the whole thing? Yep. Just got to do that bit. And then I need to chop this bit off the top. So delete, get rid of that bit, please. Okay, cool. Oh, I missed one. Mr. Tile. That's Mr. Tile speak to you. That <laughs> tickle you did it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I did that, this this might just work. This might just work out. Okay, I'm gonna have to change uh this staircase a little bit, but I think this is this is gonna work. Okay. That gets us there, doesn't it? Yes it does. And then we will want our path uh going all the way around there. Well I can do that. Okay, fine. Let's get them to build that and then see where we go from there. Okay, second level of the irrigation ditch is ready. So, boom, and in rushes the water. Then we'll grab, what do I want? Uh, I want a two, two level platform, which is going to go along there and along to there, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's got to go to there. Okay, um, and then I, I just put a road on top and we're done. Zip. There we go. And everything's back to the way it was. Except that, look, now all of this is lush and green. And it will stay that way, thank heavens. Okay, cool. This is a long drought. It's 17.8 days. Which is um, not so good. I, I should, You know what? I should prioritise this so that it gets... It all gets built as quickly as possible. And then I can turn my attention like fairly exclusively to getting this done. How we... Oh, look. Uh, our dandelions, they grow in two phases. So first of all, they reach maturity, which is when they get to the, the full size. So these, these are still growing. Um, and that takes three days. But once they get to that size, then every three days they produce a dandelion flower. So you get, you get the dandelions quite quickly. Have we, have we had any, have you got any medicine? Well, no, because if you had any medicine, you'd have, you'd have given it. No, we, we haven't had any dandelions yet. But I tell you what, they should be popping, like, I would have thought pretty soon. Well, that's like 56%, so yeah, it's going to be a little while. Okay, let, let's let them get on with it, and, uh, and then we'll take a look at the castle. We had some spare beavers sitting around doing nothing, so I added in a builder's hut to give us, uh, to double our, our builders from four to eight. And... They're kind of flying along at the moment. So I think this is going to happen kind of relatively quickly. Look at this. We've got some dandelions. Hooray. Where's our, uh, where's that? Oh, I, I gather it's finished for the day. That's a shame. Um, I'm seriously thinking, because we've still got like eight beavers doing nothing. Um, I've already maxed out the, the hauling post. I've put it on a slightly lower priority. So if we want, uh, if, if we run out of people, they'll be taken from here first. Uh, but I'm thinking of putting in another builder's hut doesn't seem like a bad idea does not it let's go uh builder's hut and throw you in there um i guess we'll prioritize that and get that built first because it'll speed everything up uh oh here we go look dandelion being harvested now that is going to get shipped down to the healer oh it's bubbles i thought it was sparks coming out the top but it's actually bubbles coming out the top <laughs> that's very cool so, oh, we look at this. We've got loads of dandelions. And we are brewing medicine. And I've, I've just noticed. We've got no sick people now. Oh, wow. Okay, that, that happened alarmingly quickly. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to say healer works. Well, it's the last day of the drought and the water has lasted. Uh, but we did lose a tiny patch of uh, carrots here. 
So I think we need another irrigation ditch. So. Boom. And then we'll do the same thing again. Uh, what do I want? <laughs> I always forget dynamite is under the landscaping because I always think of it as water stuff. But there you go. So we'll get those done. How are we doing around here? Well, look at this. They're, they're actually starting work on the towers. Woohoo! Look at it. They've got this wall done, extended out to here. So it's happening. And I've got to say, it's happening very quickly. I'm very impressed. I've put um, this kind of platform running across here so that our guys can take a more direct route to get to, to this side. We have stopped pumping because we've actually dropped down to this level. Uh, but I think part of that is just the fact that we would like we filled up these barrels. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We may um, may need to do something about that and figure out a way to get uh, to keep more water. I don't know. I don't, I don't know whether that's an exceptional circumstance. It may be. We'll see. We'll see. But ooh, is that no that barrel. Yes, that barrel is empty. Good lord, how much have we got in here? Uh, yeah, we've got plenty. We're, the, the drought is over anyway, but obviously for a, that was, I, mean, I don't know how long that drought was. It was 20 odd days, uh, 25, something like that. Uh, would we last a 30 day drought? I think, I think now with everything set up, yeah, we should be able to. And I think this is going to be fine now for a 30 day drought, especially once we extend uh, our water supply just a little bit like there and here. And is that filling up? I can't tell. Ah, you know what? If I speed it up. There we go. <laughs> so, that water's going to spill out. I'm going to let this fill up. They've Oh, the, just one to do. And we can do this channel. Come on, guys. Do the last one. You know what? Is that, uh, it's not prioritised. That's why. There we go. Prioritise it. They should get that done. Oh, and everything's starting to work again. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, and this is filling up again, and we're pumping water again. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Have they? Do, why aren't they doing this last one? They, can they not reach that? I don't. You know what? I don't think they can reach that. Huh? You know what? It's not actually that important. Let's boom. Get rid of all of that, and detonate that one as well. Uh, I suppose. Like, what can I do? To, oh, I, I know what I can do. <laughs> you, you, I'm such a bonehead sometimes. I can just put in a double platform there, and then they'll be able to get to it. Uh, we can put in the rest of the double platforms. We'll set that... Well, they're doing... I was going to set that up as a priority, but they're just doing it anyway. Good beavers. I will set it as a priority. Oh, we've got a little bit of flooding going on. Let's uh, close this up. Oh, look at this. We are actually low on wood. Well, I'm shocked. Uh, okay, well, they've cut down all of these trees. And they've cut down all of these trees. Wow. I, I never thought for a second that wood was going to be an issue. Well, let's do something about that, shall we? Yes, we shall. Mark tree cutting area. Okay, you know what? Cut all of those. Now, we can get into this area and we can cut these. Which will give us a little bit of wood. We're starting a drought in 0.7 days. Uh, and I've just managed to get... Uh, let's show you. I've just managed to get this dynamite laid. So let's let's trigger that. And that cuts us a channel into the, this reservoir. Which means that even if, uh, even if this top layer dries out, we will have some irrigation going out here to keep this irrigated. Okay, so that's good. Uh, we are maxed out... On all of our water which is terrific uh, this is this is only at two and a half because we haven't finished all of this yet uh, I found uh, some wood over here actually uh, and we are bringing wood in from from this area I don't know whether they finished uh, this area over here where, where was it oh it was the, the area around the back did they get this done no they haven't actually got this done yet well we're just coming to the end of the drought and things are looking pretty good things are looking very good in actual fact I've planted up a whole big tree area over here. And we're gathering trees from here. And, well, we've almost finished gathering the trees from down there. So, um, wood is coming in, but literally, as soon as it comes in, it's used in the construction. This tower, 
<laughs> it's almost, well, it's not almost done, but it's well on the way to being done. This one, oh, they've got into the big stuff now. Yeah, it's going to take a bit of time. But down here, the drought has now ended and there was much rejoicing. Uh, have they finished this? Yes, they have finished this. We've got all the dynamite laid in here to take it down another level. So, shall we? I think we probably should. Ah, oh, it didn't do it in one go. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, well, there you go. Two bites of the cherry. Okay, that can uh, that can go. Excellent. Right, so we've now got this. The whole thing too deep. That is brilliant. I suppose the next area we've got to do is this one. I might leave that because I'm not sure exactly how I want that to end up. Uh, we can certainly do this one, take that one down a bit. Okay, well, yeah, <laughs> long way to go yet. Well, the drought's just ended and we're in, we're in great shape at the end of that. In really good shape. I've got, I could have released some more water to, uh, to fill this in, but kind of didn't need to. Okay, so that's going to come down here. I, I widened this. I widened this to three gates to uh, to help with uh, preventing flooding. It just lets the water out a little bit quicker. Okay, that's all good. Oh man, this is this is going really really well. This tower is complete. Would you believe? See, this is the, we get these occasional little bits of flooding, and this just helps it. It used to be a little bit worse than that. It's much better now. So that's great. And uh, I've been doing some work down here. What I've done is I've put... I, I moved the showers over one and put these stairs going down here. Primarily so that we could put dynamite <laughs> over the whole place. That is going to be a very big bang when that goes off. Right now, I'm just adding uh, scaffolding inside the towers. And I'm just going to start adding it along the walls as well. So, we want it coming out like that. And, oh, I better guess that. Um, okay, so, that's one. Three and three would be better actually so we'll do yeah we'll do three which that brings me up to the level that i want and then i guess i guess here we'll do twos um yeah i guess okay fine so and then in here we just need like go threes going across here so it's gonna be yeah, threes going all around here. If you're wondering what this is for, keep wondering, because <laughs> I'll tell you later. Uh, that's three, 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 three. So what is that? That's a two. Uh, no, just a one. There. It's weird the different heights. Okay, so we throw in a one there. Well, still so much for them to do. Okay, what is this scaffolding, like, actually for? Well, these are the Towers of Power. We're going to have the... We're going to have the... Where are they? We're going to have the gravity batteries sitting on top. Now, the gravity batteries need to be connected to whatever the power source is, like the, the windmills. So we're going to have to run um, shafts... Um, and I could... Okay, I mean, I, I suppose I could run them on top of the walls, but that would look unsightly. So what we're going to do is have these running along here, just like one down from the level of the uh, of the wall, and that should hide them, yeah, sufficiently. So that so that it'll still look ostensibly like just a castle. Nothing to see here. Move along. The other bonus of putting this scaffolding in is that they can work on more sections at a time and, and when they're when they can only get to one section they seem to work much slower than if they can get to multiple sections and you can see it's, it's flying along now that's great what else is going on uh let's have a look uh, at the concrete the, the concrete <laughs> let's have a look at the dynamite 
<laughs> the concrete. <laughs> the hell went through my mind there? What was I think? I, I think it's the gravity battery, and I was thinking, oh, the concrete weights. I, I don't know. My mind went off on a complete tangent then. Okay, so yeah, we've, well, there's still loads to put in. I have got all the nooks and crannies done. Had to move the um, the district centre down here. Uh, and now I've had to move the district centre over here so that it can reach all the way around here. Uh, so how are we doing? Well, we've got all of the dynamite laid down here. <laughs> Looking forward to that, I am. Uh, and we've got our towers completed up to here. Now, we've got to do the tops. I put these pieces in them, and then I realised, of course, that they can only build up two. So I'm going to have to put some scaffolding in them. Get that done. Picture? Yeah. Do you want to watch the Big Bang? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you would. She's been she's been like, can I wait, can I say the dynamite? I should I should have linked it all together so it all happened in one, but <laughs> And now the big one. Oh how deeply satisfying. <laughs> We've got one little bit to do here. Oh, and, and, and a bit there as well. Ray. <laughs> oh, awesome. So, yeah, we have now got, like, a hell of a lot of water in here. I mean, we had so much water before. We've got even more now. Uh, obviously, these paths I'll, uh, I'll lay out with dynamite, and we'll, we'll get rid of those as well. Uh, I have some plans for this. All I'm going to say right now, offshore wind farm. The other thing I wanted to do while the uh, while we we we're, were still filling up with water, let's see, we've got yeah, the drought's coming in in two days, is to remove these walls. Yeah, I, I want to do this during the daytime, so let's speed it up. Come on, beavers! Oh, look at them. Here's the morning. God, there's so many of them now. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to this. Right, so they're they're working away. Uh, let's pause it. What I want to do is remove these uh, remove these walls. So <laughs> this should be fun, uh, especially if I've messed something up. I hope I haven't. Uh, let's see. So we want that and that gone. E yes, <laughs> and uh, all of that. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do a little bit at a time that and this part bye bye right, let's do that one first so this should be this should be interesting and the water floods down into there now is it leak proof I do believe it is and it's uh, is it emptying Mm, barely. It looks like it looks like the uh, the, the water that's come, uh, it is dropping a tiny bit, but the water's coming in so fast. I think. Let's speed it up. It's still. Is it still? No, that's it. I think it's full. Good lord. Wow, this thing really does produce some water okay that's that one done then so right let's do this one let's see if this is um as successful god i hope so i'm, I'm so i'm terrified i'm gonna screw something up what am i doing demolish uh delete buildings so i just want to take out that don't i Ye uh, actually i want to take that but uh, yeah i want to take that as well okay yes yeah i think that's okay <laughs> Okay, so how's this? I mean, this is smaller, so this 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 will be fine. And and the water level hardly drops. It's all filled up. And there you go. And now we have our beaver castle with towers full of water. Not that we can use most of it, but doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got even more water now. Um, all I've got to do is top off these towers, and then that'll be it for this episode. So let's get it done. 
you know, I think the most the most impressive part of this build is the fact that I haven't killed a single beaver so far, <laughs> which normally when I do something big like this, I end up killing a load of beavers and I haven't killed a single one. These, I tell you what, these last bits of the tower are really flying up. We're going to be finished in no time. We're so close now. Okay, I can put in the final two crenellations. Uh, where are we? I'm, I'm so excited. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Uh, we want this one to be prioritized. So that one gets done before that one. Uh, actually, I'm not going to take any chances. I, I haven't messed it up so far. I'm not going to start now. There's... Um, oh, and there's one to go there. That's a good point. And one to go there. And that... So those two and that one. We're done. Come on, beavers. Here they come. They're grabbing the wood. <laughs> As you do. Stop it. And... Come on. Come on. Yeah, that one's in. That one's in. Just this one to go. Um, I can go to the wrong thing. Uh, that's going to be the last one. Who's going to have the honour of finishing off the last piece? They're all like, me, me. I want, I want to do it. And boom, that is the last piece. The towers are topped out. Oh, I can't wait to do like the inner pieces as well. It'll, it'll look amazing. So there you go. That's it. Uh, we'll slow it down. What I have to decide now is with these, uh, with these gravity batteries, which are under power, do I, I'm, I'm kind of in two minds as to whether I have just one there or whether I put two in. So if you've got a view on, do you think it would look better with, with just the one or, or with two? Then leave me a comment. And if you want to see what I actually decide to do, well, you'll have to come back for the next episode. Guys, we will leave it there. God, I'm loving this. Leave me a comment. Let me let me know what you think, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.